Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1,128 of our trek and time for our Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. As we continue on with this trek that we call life, sometimes we have questions about life. So our Friday trek is a time where we can ask Gramps. Gramps will answer your questions that you would like to ask your dad or granddad, but for whatever reason, this is not possible. No matter how old we are, I know that all of us would like the opportunity to ask Dad or Gramps questions about life in many areas. We may mix it up a bit on our Friday episodes, but we will strive to keep them down to earth and enjoyable. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Gramps, please email them to guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. So the question for this week is, Hey Gramps, when God permits us to go through difficult times and struggles in our lives, How can we accept them and still enjoy life to the fullest? So today we want to look at seven strategies for life's many challenges. On both a personal level, as well as on a global scale, we all have to continually face challenges and hardships that test our emotional strength. We may have illnesses, injuries, grief, unemployment, death, divorce, or even a brand new venture with completely unknown outcomes. However, despite how brutally life might treat you, there is always a number of strategies that you can employ to help you to carry through. And here are seven of the most effective ones. The first is turn to face reality. As human beings, we are the masters of avoidance and very often end up turning away from life's challenges instead of facing them head on. However, if you really want to enjoy life to the full, then you'll need to start getting used to owning up to the truth. Once you learn to stop avoiding each of life's hiccups, you will eventually find that life becomes easier, less scary, and a lot more manageable. Once you start seeing such a positive change in your life, then you'll have even greater confidence that you can grow even further, and partaking in such life's journeys and personal growth is the backbone of living a satisfying life. The second is to embrace the way your life actually is. The secret to life is not to want what you don't have, but to actually want what you do have. That is learning to be content in all circumstances. There is an immense feeling of freedom associated by taking life as it comes. Once you learn to simultaneously embrace the positive and the negative aspects of life, then you'll have a real chance to enjoy life to the full and to value everything that the world has bestowed upon you. You'll find that surrendering to the reality of who you really are truly gives you the opportunity to live up to your potential. The third is don't rush through life. We've all heard the saying, slow and steady wins the race, but not many of us realize how important this approach to life really is. By constantly being in a hurry, we actually end up compromising our own success. If we get ahead of ourselves, then we are bound to make a lot more mistakes. If we cut corners, we're sure to end up paying the price for it later on. It is only through disciplined and incremental growth that we can make a positive and lasting changes in our lives. Number four is to be more grateful. Many of us tend to count our worries a lot more than we count our blessings and privileges. However, possessing such an attitude will diminish our ability to lead a happy and fulfilling life since you'll be constantly weighed down by negativity. An effective recipe for emotional health and well-being is to recognize all the good that your life contains and receive it with gratitude. Number five is to stay close to all your feelings. Many times, we find our feelings confusing, terrifying, and hard to bear, so we try our hardest to keep them at a distance. However, by putting up a wall and choosing not to feel, we usually end up draining ourselves of the psychological energy that makes life more pleasurable and meaningful. If we cease to feel anything, then we not only deprive ourselves of the growth that can come out of negative emotion, but we'll also suck in all the fun out of life's more positive experiences. Quite simply, When we stop feeling, we cease to be human beings and end up simply going through the motions. Number six, accept success and failure as part of life's journey. Everyone who is alive is constantly learning, no matter how old you are. 
That's why it's important not to be too hard on ourselves and to accept that trying, succeeding, failing, and trying again is the only real way to instill lasting confidence in ourselves. No matter how successful or mature we become, our inner child will always require friends and mentors who will help to see us through. And then number seven, take care of your loving relationships. Relationships don't just appear and disappear magically since they require a great deal of hard work and attentive care to help them to grow and to keep them sustained. Mature love involves honoring our differences yet overcoming distance on practically a daily basis. It accepts the reality that every relationship will have its fair share of pain and suffering, but it also accepts that the only way to stay on track is through unyielding compassion. Learn to be more understanding and your love will shine through brighter than ever. If you follow these seven strategies, life may not be easier, but you'll find it a lot more enjoyable and fulfilling. God has given us all that we need to live a rich and satisfying life, as we are told in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-7. through 7. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the One who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous and glorious excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share His divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. Well, that'll end our session for today. Join us again next Friday for another question on our Ask Gramps episode. Our next trek will be Meditation Monday, where we will help you to reflect on what is most important in life. So encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,127 daily treks or read the associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.